Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up your Microsoft Authenticator app on your new phone. If you no longer have access to your old phone, this can seem like a challenge, but don't worry, I'll walk you through each step to ensure a smooth transition. Let's dive in. First, let's get the Microsoft Authenticator app installed on your new phone. Head over to your phone's app store, whether it's the Google Play Store for Android or the App Store for iOS. Once there, search for Microsoft Authenticator. When you find it, tap the download or install button and wait for the app to install. This should only take a few moments depending on your internet speed. Once the app is successfully installed, go ahead and open it. You'll be greeted with a prompt to sign into your Microsoft account. Tap on the sign in option, which will lead you to a screen asking for your email address. Here, you need to enter the email address associated with your Microsoft account and then tap next to proceed. This step is crucial because Microsoft needs to confirm your identity before granting access to your account. Now, typically Microsoft would ask you to check the Microsoft Authenticator app on your old phone for a verification code. But since you no longer have access to your old device, we'll need to use alternative methods to verify your identity. Look towards the bottom of the screen. You'll see an option that says, use your password instead. Tap on this option and you'll be prompted to enter your Microsoft account a password. Once you input the correct password, it will allow you to sign in and recover your authentication details. If for some reason you can't use your password, there's another way. You'll find an option that says, I don't have access to the Microsoft Authenticator app. Tap on this, and you'll be directed to a screen where you can choose to receive a verification code sent to one of your alternate email addresses linked to your Microsoft account. Select the alternate email address you have access to. Microsoft will then send a verification code to that email. Once you receive the code, enter it into the app to continue. This step ensures that you still have control over your account and can securely regain access. In some cases, Microsoft might require you to take additional steps, such as providing a security code or updating your security information. If the previous methods don't work, you might need to update your security information, which can take up to 30 days. Be prepared for this waiting period if you need to reset your security info. Follow the link provided on the screen. You'll be prompted to sign in again with your Microsoft account details. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to add new security information, like an alternate email address or a phone number. If you've also forgotten your Microsoft account password, you'll need to reset it before proceeding. To do this, open your web browser and search for Microsoft Account Recovery. Click on the official Microsoft Recovery page and follow the instructions to reset your password. During the password reset process, you'll need to provide your account details, an alternate email for contact, and answer some security questions. Microsoft will then send a code to your alternate email, which you'll use to verify your identity. After successfully following these steps, you'll regain access to your account and be able to set up the Authenticator app on your new phone. Once your Microsoft Authenticator app is set up, make sure to test it by signing into your account on another device. Enter the generated authentication code to confirm that it's working properly. If everything is set up correctly, you should now be able to use your new phone for two-factor authentication. Going forward, I highly recommend updating your security settings by adding backup verification methods like another email or phone number to avoid similar issues in the future. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.